Close your eyes and keep your mind right here. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Remember that this is your territory. Outside of this is not your territory. Of course, as soon as you tell that to the mind, the mind wants to go out and see what's out in that outside territory. It strains against limitations. It feels cooped up. And then begin to resent the limitations that are placed on it. You've got to realize the limitations are there for a good reason. They open up huge areas inside that would be closed otherwise. After all, this is your mind. This is your body. It's your space. When you're going outside, you're going into other people's space. And you're neglecting what you've got right here. And John Lee makes a comparison with having a plot of land. And you let it stay covered with weeds, and you want to go and plant crops in other people's land. And of course, they're going to get upset. There are going to be boundary disputes. But if you turn around and look at what you've got, you've got good soil, you've got good water, everything you need for a good crop is just a matter of focusing here to develop what you've got. It's the same principle of the monks and their rules. When you first ordained, you begin to chafe against things. You used to be able to do X, and now you can't do X anymore. And you start thinking about X a lot, much more than you ever thought about it before. Forgetting the fact that because we have the rules, we have a lot of time. The time to explore our own minds. It's a luxury that very few people have. So it's the same with living in quarantine, the same with any kind of limitation placed on us. If you're constantly chasing against the limitations, you miss the opportunities that have been opened up inside. So have an appreciation of what you've got right here. If you need variety, go walk, do walking meditation in a place you haven't done walking meditation before. Do sitting meditation in a place you haven't done sitting meditation before. As John Chaub used to like to have two walking paths wherever he stayed, one for the morning, one for the afternoon, to give himself some variety. But not so much variety that it became a distraction. Because that's what a lot of our wander around outside is, it's just distractions. And the real work never gets done. The opportunities you have for raising a good crop inside just get wasted. Then you find yourself getting into trouble for straying and trespassing on other people's land. So focus right here. There's a lot to see right here. And you see that by placing fences around yourself like this, it opens up other doors that otherwise would be closed.